Loop Deck version 5.1 has just been released with some great new features, not least the Loop Deck Marketplace, a new way to download uh, profiles, plugins, and also icons as well. So we'll be digging right into that just in a moment. And I should say that uh, the way that you get this is through the website. There is no sort of button in the app itself to uh, download the update or check for the update. So you're going to go to the uh, website loopdeck.com slash get hyphen started. I'll leave a link down in the description uh, and then basically just go and yeah, grab the download for the uh, operating system that you are currently on. I'm going to specifically be looking at this from a Mac point of view because I am a Mac centric channel after all. Uh, so let's have a little look at the uh, software, shall we, and see uh, if we can spot any changes. Uh, it might look pretty similar at first glance, uh, but there is a couple of notable differences. Uh, first of all, we'll notice that the system settings or the settings icon, I should say, the little cogwheel has now sort of disappeared from up here. It always used to be next to the uh, sort of little uh, username avatar just up here. Uh, this this is now moved into a sort of drop down menu. So we click this little arrow here uh, and there we've got the username, but then also we've got the uh, this new feature, which is plugins and assets. I'll come to that in a moment. Uh, we've also got the device settings. So that is what was previously that little cogwheel. Uh, and then we've got account settings, sign out and uh, the switch to classic UI mode. So this previously used to be sitting up here in this sort of header bar, uh, the switch to classic UI. I think in the previous version, they uh, when they changed the UI, they left that button there. Now it's sort of migrated down here. Presumably uh, not so many people are using that mode. Uh, underneath here, we've also got a couple of other menu items. So some uh, video tutorials, an onboarding wizard, uh, and a couple of support and legal links as well to some other stuff in there. Um, so where the classic UI uh, switch used to be just up in the uh, top here, we've now got something new, which is this marketplace. Uh, and that is very similar if you are familiar with Stream Deck and the uh, Stream Deck marketplace that was added into uh, one of their recent updates or their updates last year sometime actually. Um, then, uh, well, this is very similar to that. It basically opens up in a separate window so if you click on this it will open up the loop deck market the loop deck marketplace <laughs> just like this in a separate window uh, and uh, so this is a place where you can get access to, uh, as you can see here, uh, profiles, plugins and uh, icon packs. So we'll be having a little dig into that in a moment. And uh, you can also access this as well from other places within the uh, app interface. So for example, with uh, profiles, we always used to be able to uh, go and download additional profiles from the uh, uh, Loop Deck website. And we did that by coming down to the bottom and clicking here to uh, find more app profiles. Uh, and when you clicked on that, as I say, it went through to a website that then you had to download the particular plugin for the device and the operating system that you were using. Uh, and then you would have to go and sort of manually import that into the app itself. Well now clicking this takes you straight through to the uh, the marketplace uh, and uh, so from there you can see all of the different profiles. One of the things that I have actually noticed about this though is they don't seem to have quite the same list of profiles that we had before. Uh, maybe some of them are similar, but I noticed uh, one that has just stood straight out to me as absent, which is the Zoom plugin that they had, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, the Zoom profile that they had before. Uh, so when you went through to their website, that was available on their website. But when you come through to here, I'm not actually seeing it in this list. I don't know any of the other ones, if there's any other specific ones that are not now available that previously were, um, or if there's, you know, which are the actual new ones in here. But nevertheless, this is a much better user experience from the point of going through and installing these. Uh, Notion, I'm not sure that Notion was in the uh, previous one, but I might be wrong. Uh, so let's just see the process of actually installing this, shall we? You're basically going to come down here uh, and click on the install button. It's that simple. You can click on these to uh, find a little bit more information uh, and then it will tell you something about the uh, compatible devices. Now this is interesting. This is compatible with the Loop Deck CT uh, and operating system Mac OS and Windows. So uh, I'll just give this a go because I've got a Loop Deck Live. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if it is totally incompatible with the Loop Deck Live or whether it's just basically missing some functionality. So let's just click on install and see what happens. If I go back over to my device, it says it's preparing to install, downloading profile and select application. Uh, so here it looks like I'm having to manually find uh, Notion. Let's have a little look. Uh, where's Notion? Somewhere down here. I probably should have used the search. There it is, Notion. So I'm going to click on that. So it doesn't do that automatically and click on OK. 
Um, so it has actually worked. So although it said it wasn't compatible, it just showed that it was compatible with the Loop Deck CT. Uh, it is actually showing me some uh, some uh, different things here in terms of uh, uh, actions linked to uh, to Notion. Um, yeah, a bit strange though that it didn't just do the little step of finding it itself. It would have been nice if it actually did make the uh, the final step and that link itself rather than getting me to search for the app. But never mind, I'll forgive it that. <laughs> uh, let's come back over to uh, to here. Um, so we have already installed this. It is still showing here as install though. Uh, but I'll come on to how we can check on which profiles we've got installed. Uh, coming back here. Um, let's have a little look. What I'm also noticing is there are a number of um, plugins here, uh, sorry, a number, number of profiles, I should say. Um, so this one, for example, uh, for Luminar um, is Windows only. And so it does say not available for Mac. It'd probably be quite nice if you could sort of filter those out, or at least if they weren't displayed to you <laughs> when you are browsing on a uh, device that is not compatible with them. It'd be good, you know, in, with Stream Deck, you only basically get shown the ones that are available for that device. Um, so I'm doing a bit of a critical review here, aren't I? <laughs> but um, it'd be nice if those were filtered out so you only saw the ones that were relevant. But uh, never mind, let's uh, move on. Um, the next one is plugins. And if I click on here, what we'll see is a whole series of plugins, um, none of which are available for the Mac. Uh, now, there are still the existing plugins that we've got, and uh, presumably with this being called the Marketplace, there will be more uh, plugins being added all the time, or uh, you know, in due course, there will be more added at least. So hopefully we'll see some more that are compatible with the Mac there to be able to install them. And then finally, we've got icon packs. Uh, and icon packs are basically, uh, again, it's the marketplace. It's very similar to the way it works with the uh, Stream Deck, where basically people are using this as a way to uh, sort of promote their larger packs. So uh, one of the great uh, creators of icon packs is uh, Sideshow FX. They've got some massive uh, collections uh, for all the sort of professional uh, design apps and things like that. So all the Adobe suite and creative apps and things. Uh, so you can see here Ableton Live, Affinity Designer, and so on. Uh, and what they've done is they've provided what they call uh, sampler apps. Sorry, sampler <laughs> icon collections. And uh, so it's basically like a collection of uh, some of their icons Presum presumably so that you see uh, the uh, the quality in them and then go over to their website and grab the full collection. Uh, so for example, if I come down to uh, just have a look down here, Photoshop, for example, uh, we've got the sampler pack. If I click on it, it will tell you here there are 70 icons. Uh, this is presumably the number of downlo downloads, I guess. And then created by Sideshow FX. And then you can go and find the homepage of their website. Uh, and if we just go over to that, I'll just show you that uh, they really are great. I mean, I've got icon packs available on my site as well. <laughs> However, they're nothing compared to the uh, total quantity of various different icon packs that there is with Sideshow FX. So I would be uh, remiss for not actually mentioning them um, to go over and check those out. All sorts of uh, apps they've got in here, Ableton Live, Affinity Designer, and so on, After Effects, Audition, uh, and uh, yeah, just really large collections. I think some of their you know regular collections are um, you know 300 plus apps for these uh, various different things. So here you can see the uh, Photoshop collection on the uh, the Loop Deck CT uh, and available for the Loop Deck Live as well. Uh, so yeah, really great uh, resource there for apps. Um, but just coming back to the ones that are available on here then. So as I say, these are sort of sampler apps. So the ones that you can get for free are sampler apps. But what you may find is they actually, you know, cover all of the sort of basics if you're not using all of the full functionality of some of these apps. So definitely worth uh, <coughs> getting the uh, sampler icon packs to uh, see how they look and then there's a few others in here as well i've already had a quick look at this and just downloaded a couple of samples so the way that it works is you just come here and click on install simple as that pretty obvious really uh, and then you'll notice in the uh, loop deck app it said it is installing the uh, the icon packs so then you can click on ok uh, now, let's find out where you can actually find these things that we've just been uh, downloading. Well, this is actually from this menu up in the top once again. Uh, and here you can see plugins and assets. So this is where you're going to be able to access basically kind of like the library, if you like, of everything you've installed. So here it shows you the uh, the plugins. So these are the various different plugins that we've got. Um, and this is... Um, 
not necessarily quite the same as the uh, the list that we just looked at in fact on the marketplace because some of these are the built-in ones that are already installed from uh, the uh, from the loop deck when you first install the software so we have got like the Photoshop plugin and everything like that there as well uh, and here is the icon packs so here you can see this is the one that I've literally just downloaded if you wanted to remove something you can always click on it here uh, click on the three dots and then just click on uninstall to remove it that way um, or you can also go through it and go through back to the marketplace uh, and un uninstall it from there so in terms of how you actually use those icons then um, if we come through to any action that we've got in our list of actions so here we've got uh, our list of actions in the uh, the side. Uh, the way that we change icons on the loop deck is by actually looking at the icon relative to the action. So we always open up this little pane down here when we click on a particular action. Uh, click on the little icon uh, symbol there. Uh, and then here you can basically just drag and drop an icon on there if you've got something on your own computer. But we also now have this icon library. So if you click on that, then this is where basically you can access all of these uh, different icons. So this is the set that we we've just installed. Uh, here also is the Photoshop uh, sampler. So you can see that there are a few different uh, actions uh, in here. Sorry, a few different icons, I should say, uh, that uh, that may be of use. So you may need more, may want to check out that Sideshow FX. Um, obviously, go and check out some of the ones that I've got on my site as well. <laughs> TakeOneTech.io slash store. They are very specific for things like Zoom, Ecamm Live and so on. Um, but uh, that is how you would uh, get those into there. Um, so that is basically, in a nutshell, the updates that have been uh, added. And it's this, uh, obviously, this marketplace is the, the core of it. I've got a few issues, really, if I'm totally honest. Um, first of all, with the uh, the fact that you do get shown a lot of stuff that maybe isn't relevant in terms of the marketplace. You know, if I'm never going to be using a PC, so I don't necessarily need to see those plugins that are available there. Uh, the other thing that I've uh, always had a bit of a uh, an issue with is with the profiles, which is whereby uh, profiles... Um, obviously, you can have the, if I go to the uh, Photoshop profile, for example, uh, change to the Photoshop profile. There you go. You can see the Photoshop plugin with all of those pre-made uh, Photoshop actions. What I really wish, though, is if I had come over to here and I go into, like, my, say, one of my main profiles over here, rather than an app-specific one, um, I've been, I've called that one Ecamm Live, which is probably not quite right. If I come over to this default profile, let's say I just want to start from here and I want to add in some Photoshop um, actions into this main profile for example well there's no way to actually add the Photoshop plugin into here which is a bit of a uh, bit of a shame really so I can come into here and I can manage these different plugins but you can see that these are what they call universal plugins uh, and the Photoshop plugin if although I can come over here and I can see it I can see that I've got the Photoshop plugin just like that um, but there's no way for me to actually add that actually over here so that I can start adding Photoshop actions into here. It's a bit of a shame really because it kind of forces you to use this approach of uh, you know having a custom profile for each app that you're in but I just don't like the dynamic mode of switching between them but uh, hey ho that's me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being uh, fussy about that. Uh, that is the 5.1 update and uh, it's funnily enough I had literally just finished my uh, five video beginner's guide to Loop Deck. Uh, I was just making the thumbnails for it then I got the email saying that there was this new version out. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go back and uh, remake a few of those uh, videos. So uh, never mind about that. I will leave a link, though, to the uh, Loop Deck playlist over on the right-hand side. And probably sometime tomorrow, uh, that new updated <laughs> beginner's guide will be updated there, too. <laughs>